today's video, I'm going to be showing you this complete get ready with me look. So I'm going to be showing you my hair, my makeup. I've actually teamed up with Bombay Hair to bring you this look. And you guys know that I just recently cut my hair and I've been missing the long hair so much. So I figured I'll add some clip-ons to this video and I actually really like it. Let me know what you think. Do you like long hair, don't care, or short hair, November? <laughs> I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything that I used, including some coupon codes for the extensions and the hair tools, will be listed below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my hair because I feel like clipping on extensions as well as curling them is going to take a little bit longer than doing my makeup. So I'm going to start off by parting my hair and I'm just simply using my fingers because you don't really need to have a straight line. And then I'm going to clip on the three clip extensions on that line and I'm going to use two of those three clip-in extensions. On top of that, I'm going to take the four clip extension and I'm going to clip that on my hair. These extensions have a lot of hair, so I mean, if you put all of them in your hair, you're gonna get a ton of volume and your hair is gonna look really cool. And the last clip on, I'm gonna put on the crown of my head. You wanna make sure that you don't put it anywhere above the crown because you are gonna be able to see it if you do. And then after I applied all my clip ons in my hair, I'm just gonna brush it out and put some heat protector just because I wanna curl my hair. So today I'm using my Bombay 5 in 1 curling set. And I'm going to take a small section and wrap it underneath the curling one. And then I'll just start curling my hair. And I'm just gonna do this throughout my entire head. I wanted to use the biggest wand, which is a 32 millimeter, because I want loose beachy waves. So that's what I'm gonna do throughout my entire head. Once I'm done curling my hair, I'm just gonna go in with a volumizing hairspray, and I'm just gonna spray this throughout my hair, as well as my extensions, and then I'm just gonna clip them back. So now we're gonna move on to our makeup, and I'm gonna start out with my eyes. So I'm gonna use a new primer today, and this is the Kavon D eyeshadow primer which I really like it. It reminds me a lot of my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion because it has a little bit of tint in it. And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte palette and I'm using a neutral shade to just apply it all over my lid as well as my crease. Then I'm going to go in with this taupe shade and the same Sigma brush and I'm just going to apply this into my crease. Now I'm going to go in with this beautiful shade. It almost looks gray, like a really light gray. And a blending brush. I'm going to apply this only on the outer parts of my crease. On top of that, I'm going to go in with this beautiful purple shade and a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to dust this on top. Then I'm going to take a darker purple shade. And I'm going to really intensify the look. And then on my lid, I'm taking this vanilla neutral shade and I'm just going to apply this all over with a flat shader brush. For eyeliner today, I'm using my NYC liquid eyeliner, which I absolutely love. To prep my lashes, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Camera Lashes Mascara. And for lashes today, I'm using some new lashes, which are by Huda Beauty. And I did not mention these in my haul, but I actually went to buy them afterwards and I really like them. For my highlight, as a brow one highlight today, I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro 2 and I'm using the lightest shade in the palette just to put it on the inner parts of my eyes as well as my brow bone. And then for primer today, I'm using a new one which is by Marc Jacobs. I don't remember the name but I will list it down below. And I really like it. I've only used it about two times so I don't really have a lot to say about it. For foundation today, I'm also using the Marc Jacobs foundation. This foundation is extremely full coverage so a little bit goes a long way. I've tried it so many different ways and I just feel like this foundation is not for me. I love the formula of it and I like the fact that it's extremely full coverage. I just feel like it doesn't really go well with my skin. Somebody who has oily skin will love this foundation because it gives you a really nice matte finish and if you're looking for extreme coverage then this is your go-to foundation. To correct my under eyes today I'm using this corrector by Becca Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and just blend it all out with the same beauty blender that I used for my foundation. And then for concealer today I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Concealer and you guys have seen me do this a million times. So I'm just pretty much pressing it in with the same beauty blender. To set my foundation today, I'm using this NARS powder, which I am just absolutely in love with. I've been using it for almost a month, I wanna say, and it's been working really great on my skin. To set my under eyes, I'm using my Cab on D shade and light palette. I'm using the neutral shade on the left. 
To contour my face, I'm also using the Kat palette and I'm using a contour brush by Sigma. This is actually new from them and I really like it. It reminds me a lot of my NARS Eater brush, except this is a little bit more dense. You can create that really like intense, you know, contour that you really want. And then I'm going to bronze up my skin using my Too Faced Soleil bronzer, which I am just absolutely in love with. And then I'm just going to just blend everything in with a Morphe brush. For blush today, I'm using this beautiful shade called Doll Face from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette, and I really like it. I love this palette, you guys. If you did not pick it up, I highly recommend you go get it because it's just absolutely beautiful and it's limited edition. For highlight today, I'm using my highlight by Becca Cosmetics in Champagne Pop, and I'm just going to apply this on the high points of my face. Under my lower lash line, I'm going to intensify the look a little bit more by smoking it out. So I'm taking that dark purple shade and I'm just going to apply this with a Sigma flat shader brush. And then I'm just going to blend everything in together with this taupe shade from the same palette. And to finish up, I'm just going to add some mascara to my lower lashes and of course some eyeliner to my waterline. And I, did, I didn't even see that white little spot on my eyelashes until the end of the video, but I did remove it you guys <laughs> so at the end of the video I did go back and like take it off for my lips today I'm using the lip land liquid lipstick and I don't remember the shade but I believe it's from um, Razy's collection and I'm going to set everything with my urban decay finishing spray <laughs> so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this get ready with me video then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video very soon Bye, guys.